Hey guys, Mel here. So, after doing my experimenting with experimenting video, it's been brought to my attention that if you learn one of the blueprints that you get out of experimenting, you don't get double ups. So for example, if I had have learnt the first Bolty that we picked up yesterday, then we would not have received another seven Bolties. With that in mind, I wanted to jump on and quickly do a follow-up video. So basically, I have another 20k scrap and I want to put it all through, but this time around I'm going to learn the blueprints as we go. That way we get an idea of what you actually get out of it, there won't be all the double ups, we're not going to end up with 8 bolties. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I'm a double door, it's a good start, we'll just learn that and we'll start the next one. Okay, single armored door, why not? Learn him next. Wow, okay. A high external stone gate. Let's get all the doors out of the way first, apparently. Okay, a hollow side. Ooh, ooh, a rocket launcher. Okay, alright, this is starting to work out pretty well. I'm definitely liking the results this time, rather than uh, what happened in yesterday's video. Ah, of course. Can't go on without the reinforced window bars. Great. Well, now we can build some secure windows at least. Metal face mask. Always a good thing to have. Oh, C4. Okay. Alright. C4. Learn. So. We just got one of the two items that I was saying I wanted to get yesterday. Laser sight. Okay. Okay, we got the scope. It's good. I don't think we've seen a bolt yet. That, um, that's got to be coming, right? Okay, metal chest. Explosives. That's good. Need that for our C4. There's the AK. Okay, so, as of yesterday's video, I wanted to get an AK and C4. Now, I, I can't say it's exactly worthwhile. I mean, we have gotten other things so far, but we have also just spent 13,000 scrap to get the C4 with the explosives, obviously, and the AK. I, I'm really doubting whether the experimenting system is worthwhile at this point. Ah, there's the bolty. Okay, good. I'm glad we could at least get that one. And the MP5. Yep, remember that from yesterday. Uh, wait. Wait, what? You have unlocked everything available from this workbench. Okay, so... There is actually a limit to the amount of things that you can get out. I, um... I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. It's not willing to give us double ups. And we've now learnt everything it could give out. It's kind of handy, I, I guess. It could also be a, exploited a little bit. I mean, if you learnt... If, if you got a list, if you watched this video, for example, and you took a list of everything that we've gotten, you'll know exactly what comes out of here. You learn everything bar, say, the AK, or bar the C4. Then you can guarantee, if you throw a thousand scrap in here, that you're popping out a C4 blueprint. Admittedly, once you already know it, you can do it for cheaper. I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I really, I really don't know if the whole experimenting system is worthwhile at all. I, I could understand why it would be handy if you're trying to get started and you you just can't get your hands on something, but you're gonna find something that you can trade to someone for whatever you need. And it's gonna be cheaper than using these tables. Like, you look at that, that was 15k. 15k scrap to learn absolutely everything that the tier 3 workbench has to offer. And a good chunk of it was just shit. Okay, so I'm going to just put up on screen right about now everything that the tier 3 workbench gave us. So there's the icon for every single thing that we just learned, all 15 items. 
I want you guys to leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Is it worth the scrap that you're pouring in? Take into consideration that that one item that you're after could be the last one you get. You might spend somewhere between 10 to 15k scrap to get it. I mean, I, it's hard to believe that that would be worthwhile for anyone. But I do want to know what you guys think. Let me know your opinions and what you think of this system. Does it need to be changed? Is this too expensive? Is a thousand scrap per experiment just too much? As always guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate everything that you guys are doing. The comments, the likes, subscribing, sharing it to your friends. It, it, it means a lot to me and I'm here to entertain and help you guys. So if there's anything that you want to see or you want me to do, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll get onto it straight away. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.